This is Kilo, and I was recently at my local auto parts store, and I asked the store manager what his recommendation would be for a hitch and you know receiver lock, like what was the best one they had. And he took me to this three-piece tow power edition Reese set for the coupler, the you know the receiver and the hitch pin locks, and he said that this is the one that everyone buys like candy for the price you know I think it retailed there for somewhere around $50 US you can find these cheaper online around $30 US and uh, once he said that I did notice after I purchased this that I see this bright yellow Reese you know coupler lock on a lot of boat trailers and travel trailers very expensive trailers and he was saying that everyone buys it and everyone loves it and raves on it and they say that no one's gonna mess with it and you know even Reese on the box you know is showing how secure it was so I just want to make this video for fun to show you if you had this on your you know your truck and your travel trailer and you think that this is going to just secure everything you've got and I see what Reese went for here they went for the target hardening approach with this kit where you basically target hardening is adding multiple levels of security to make a thief walk past you. Where if you have this on your hitch, this on the coupler, this on the receiver, they're going to say, oh, there's three locks. I don't really want to mess with that. Let me go look at a trailer that has, you know, maybe just one coupler lock. And we'll get to that too in this video. But, you know, well, first we'll go ahead and just check out the key. It does come with three keys, which is impressive because most locks you find at the hardware auto parts stores only come with two and all three of these are keyed alike so you could just put one of these on your keychain if you had it and have a lock or a key for each one and you know we can look at the bidding and it's what it is it doesn't matter what the bidding is and the reason for that is because these are wafer locks which immediately means that this is not a secure lock the second that you see these little wafers down in here, you know, there's no way. Unlike a pin tumbler where you have to pick the pins to a shear line and there could be security pins, all you got to really do with these, and we'll go in depth on another video as this isn't really focused on so much lock picking as just the security of this kit, but all you've really got to do is just pick one and you've picked it. You're, you don't have to worry about, you know, oversetting a wafer or anything like that so we'll go ahead and start with this one as this is the one that you would look at as the least challenging as it looks like anything could break this but we'll go ahead and time it we'll say that all three of these you know just for just for the sake of fun we'll say all three of these are on your expensive you know truck hitch and travel trailer and you bought this from your auto parts store and you're like I can sleep at night knowing nothing is going to happen so we'll say that a thief comes by with just, I'm going to use the, I believe they call this the offset hybrid. It's just a hook, a variation of a hook lock pick. And this is from the dark shift collection from Sparrow's lock picks. And I'm going to use the Z wrench, which is just kind of my favorite tension tool. And we'll use it in the bottom of the keyway. And you know, let's, just go ahead and time it from right now to see how quickly you know I'm gonna try and do this through a camera but we'll see how quickly I can take all of this off your truck and trailer starting now we'll just go through and start picking see what we got here and we have him off so we'll go ahead and just set him aside now this would be the next one next to him and this keyway is upside down, so we're going to go ahead and pretend we're just leaning upside down to do this one. And we'll go ahead and just kind of fit him, and he is now unlocked, so that's cool. And then, you know, we're like, oh, okay, let's just take the hitch too, since it has the whole Reese, you know, collection here. Let's see how long it's going to take to pop this guy off. Where is he at? Boom. And now we have basically just taken all this off. I don't know how long that was. I don't know, 10 minutes, I guess. 
it's no i'm just kidding but that's that's terrible that is terrible they you know an auto parts store would sell this for 50 dollars us and i mean it doesn't even take much skill to open these i'm pretty sure i, I don't even need this pick i don't even need the tension tool i could probably just use two paper clips and open these things but you know i just wanted to show you guys what you're buying for your money and you know the security the bang for your buck that they quoted at the store but i did notice that they also sell these individually specifically this one and this guy here he's made out of this cast and being that that's what it's made out of you could just take a solid swing with a hammer and just shatter this thing I'm not going to try that because I just don't want to make a mess in my yard but I'm fairly confident that one swing of a hammer would just shatter this completely apart you know like this it just sticks out for you too like it just gives you a nice little area to swing at but you don't even need to do that as if you're a thief you know you're, you don't want to make a bunch of noise as you can see the lock picking you know attack was very quiet and only took a couple of seconds now if we look down inside here you see this little Paul here he's got he kinda has a he's directional and when you slide the shackle in here as he goes down over the rounded part there's a hook side you see his blade that hooks onto each one of these little grooves here and it basically kind of acts like a you know like a rose bush you know where like the thorns go one way but when you go to pull your arm out it basically is like a barb and it prevents you from really pulling your arm out of it without being scratched to death now all that you would have to do as we'll put this through and just to show you, look at these slack. You can see daylight through, you know, between the shackle and this hole here. And if you really wanted to, you know, be quiet about it, you could do what we did in this video right here. We basically made a shim out of a Dr. Pepper can and decoded a master lockbox. The same method to make that shim in this case I'm just going to go ahead and use my ultra decoder tool from sparrows it's the same thing if you don't have this you can go to that video and make yourself one of these out of a beer can or a soda can and all that you have to do is you know this is going to be sitting on the you know receiver you could just go up through the bottom or however you feel comfortable you might even be able to go down through the top and if we fit him in through the slack and just kind of work him around, let's see if we can go in through the top. It might be easier through the bottom, but let's find out. Let's just go ahead and kind of dance him around. Yeah, we're gonna try it from the bottom as that's kind of the shape of that paw. And let's see if we can kind of dance him through. And you see we have basically just shim this thing open so I mean there's even that method like th a soda can would open this thing up so obviously you're gonna tweak the shim stock a little bit but that's no big deal but I mean this is a terrible terrible design for a coupler lock this is just a terrible price for a, you know a kit like this for fifty dollars what are you like what are you doing you know at that price at least you know make this a pin tumbler like you don't even need security pins just at least make this a challenge for somebody and don't just make this out of cast you know what i mean and the slack like this is poor design all around like i have nothing good to say about this this is just what it is i mean no one's ever gonna look at this and even if that thing had security pins and was a pin tumbler i mean look at it but i mean this is probably the only one that's worth anything and like i said it's a wafer lock so that makes it not really worth anything 
So if you purchase this from your auto parts store and you let them tell you that this is a very secure kit and you can sleep soundly at night, they lied to you and you should take this back immediately and purchase something much better for the price. There are For that type of price, there are better options. And for just a little bit more, like you got to think, if your travel trailer, your boat trailer is worth tens of thousands of dollars, you know, putting a $50 coupler lock on it isn't really ideal. So you kind of got to, you know, weigh it there. At the same time, I mean, if you live in a country club where this thing is just going to be parked most of the time, you might get away with just, you know, putting this in your backyard as it's a lower risk. But if you live on a normal, you know, on a busy street or you don't have a fenced yard and you're going to rely on this to protect your truck, your hitch and your trailer, this is a risk. This is a giant red flag. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Later on, we'll do videos on wafer locks and how to pick them, how to impression them, things like that. I just wanted to kind of play around in this video and show you guys, I guess we can call this a review of the Reese three-piece tow power hitch and coupler locks. So that's really all I have for this video. If you guys liked it, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And as always, stay safe and have a nice day.